Good morning, grade 8 students, and welcome to the first part of today's lesson for C reading Salah Din. So please get prepared and open your student's book, page 50. Learning Objectives By the end of this lesson, you will be able to Identify the main idea of the text through choosing the best title correctly. Identify the meaning of 11 vocabulary items using context clues to complete 10 sentences properly. Let's get started with this activity. Have a look at these two pictures of significant figures in the word history. Since the title of our lesson today is Salah din I think that you figured out that Salah din is the one on the left. So do you know who is Salah din Excellent! He's a famous Muslim leader. What is Salah din famous for? You are right. He succeeded in driving out the Crusaders from the holy city of Jerusalem. Now look at the picture on the right. Who is the man on the right? Well done. Richard the Lionheart, King of England. What is he famous for? Great job. He's famous for battling Salah din Now look at Activity A, page 50. Discuss. Which words will you use to describe a true hero? Brave, confident, honest, clever, sensible, or strong? What do you think? You might say brave. Do you think a hero is a brave person? Of course, a hero has to have a lack of fear. Another student might say honest. In your opinion, are heroes honest? Correct, a hero always tells the truth. What about sensible? Can we use it to describe a hero? I agree with you. A hero makes good decisions. So this word best describes a true hero. You still have the words confident, clever, and strong. Would you use them to describe a true hero? You are right. Actually, all of these words can be used to describe a true hero. Now try to come up with more words that are related to real life heroes. Very good. Patient. Heroes have patience. Excellent. Selfless. Heroes think more about the needs and happiness of other people than about their own. Well done. Caring. They show kindness and concern for others. Excellent. Supportive. They provide encouragement and help. Great job. Now let's move on to the reading text. Pay attention to the three suggested titles for this text. A. A true hero. B. A great victory. C. The king's illness. Which one of them is the best title? To answer this question, you have to skim the text very quickly. While skimming, please underline any unknown words. Take your time and try to figure out the answer. Now listen to the audio to check your answer. 
4C. 1. Read. Sometime in the 12th century, there lived an incredibly brave and sensible man named Salah al -Din. It was a time of war between men of different religions. Salah al -Din led the Muslim soldiers against their enemies and managed to successfully defeat them at the Battle of Hattin in 1187 and freed Jerusalem. Crowds of Muslims gathered to cheer their victory. The war continued for many years. Still, Salah al-Din remains in history as a supporter of the Muslim culture, as a great leader, and as an honest man whose careful plans and many skills won the respect even of his most famous enemy, King Richard I of England. For two years, Salah al-Din and King Richard fought against each other. Salah al-Din fought to protect Jerusalem and King Richard to win it. One day, word got around that King Richard was seriously wounded. His men gathered round the tent in which their king lay hidden and sat there extremely upset. It was unknown whether the king was in pain or was suffering from an injury. While they were trying to find out more about the king's health, something totally unexpected happened. Some soldiers are coming! shouted a knight. Silence fell. As the strangers were galloping towards them, the king's men watched them approach with a feeling of unease. Five Muslim soldiers got off their horses and greeted them. The knights raised their swords and lifted their shields. Then one of them shouted, What is the meaning of this? We are here for the king. Salah al-Din sent us, replied one of the five men. We come in peace, said another one of them. I am Salah al-Din's doctor. Salah al-Din knows your king is ill and sent me here to help him. The knight slowly removed his helmet. He noticed that the men were carrying fruit for the king, as well as ice to help with his fever. All the knights were very surprised. They never expected such an act of great kindness in the middle of a war. It was then that all of them realized that what they heard about Salah al-Din's goodness was true. So let's go back to the question. What's the best title for this text? Excellent! This text is about Salah al-Din. A brave, confident, honest, clever, sensible, strong, and caring leader. So the correct answer is A. It's about a true hero. Now it's time to learn some new vocabulary. Sensible. Salah al-Din was a sensible man. Sensible means having or using good judgment. Reasonable. Then we have defeat. Muslims defeated the Crusaders at the Battle of Hittin. Defeat means to win against someone in a war. Battle. Battle is a fight between armed forces. Cheer. When Muslims defeated the Crusaders, they gathered to cheer their victory. Cheer means to give a loud shout of approval or encouragement. Then we have gathered. The men gathered round the tent. Gathered means to come together in a group. Suffering from King Richard was suffering from an injury. Suffering from means to experience physical or mental pain. And finally, approach. Approach is to come near or nearer to something or someone.
Now have a look at this picture of a knight. In medieval times, a knight was a man of noble birth who served his king or lord in battle. A knight used to wear a helmet. A helmet is a strong hard hat that covers and protects the head. He also used to wear an armor. An armor is a strong covering that protects something, especially the body. They used a sword. A sword is a weapon with a long sharp metal blade and a handle. They also used a shield. A shield is a large flat object made of metal or leather that soldiers used to protect themselves. Time to practice the new vocabulary you have learned. Number one. The crowd at the football game for their favorite team. Is it cheered, greeted, or remained? Excellent. The crowd at the football game cheered for their favorite team. Number two. Our teacher put us in groups and named a team for each group. What do you think the correct answer is? Supporter, soldier, or leader? Well done! Our teacher put us in groups and named a team leader for each group. Number three. After the battle, the knight was from his injury. Is it approaching, suffering, or reacting? Very good. The knight was suffering from his injury. Number four. My father is a very man who always tells the truth. Sensible, honest, or wounded? Excellent. My father is a very honest man who always tells the truth. Number five. We had our an visit from our uncle yesterday. Scary, unknown, or unexpected? You are amazing. Unexpected visit. The last one. He always his brother at scruple. He's a better player. Removes, replies, or defeats. Great job! He always defeats his brother at scruple. Now complete with the correct word. Confident, brave, cheered, approach, and gathered. Number one. Yesterday, lots of young people at the airport to welcome a famous football player. Excellent! Lots of young people gathered at the airport. Number two. When Ted finished the marathon in less than three hours, everyone... Well done! Everyone cheered. Number three. I tried to be when I got stuck in a lift for nearly an hour. You are amazing. I tried to be brave. The last one. One of my parents' goals was to help me feel more. Very good. To feel more confident. Now let's check your understanding of the reading text. You have four questions in front of you. Pause the video, scan the text very carefully, and try to find the correct answers. Are you ready? Let's have a look at your answers. Number one. When was the Battle of Hattin? Excellent. It was in 1187. Number two. What is Salah well known for? Very good. 
for being a supporter of the Muslim culture, a great leader, and an honest man. Number 3. How many years were Salah Din and King Richard fighting for? Excellent! Two years. The last question. What did the knights do when they saw the soldiers? Amazing! They raised their swords. Thank you for watching.